Hi, King. This is Dr. J with New Leaf Chiropractic, and this is my trusty assistant, who's alive, <laughs> Larissa. And we, everybody knows that chiropractic helps with back pain, neck pain, and headaches, and that's all well and good. I frequently get the question, what can I do at home? Chiropractic helps the back pain, but when I get home at the end of the day, I notice it. Or, oftentimes, also first thing in the morning, I notice the back pain, so what can I do? So, this just very easy stretch is chiropractor approved. It may not be approved specifically for you, so check, check with me if I'm your chiropractor, check with your chiropractor, your doctor. Make sure that this stretch fits for you. If there's a low disc type subluxation problem in your body, this is, this is probably not gonna be the cat's meow for you. So, Larissa, if you would, uh, we're just gonna, so we're gonna stretch the left side of the back first, and let's just go with just the left leg. So bring the left leg up, that should be comfortable, and then take it all the way over, Larissa. Good, and then come back back over again and back good straighten that leg out and then rotate to the other side perfect back to center and back to center now you should feel that stretch somewhere right in the mid part of the back so you ought to feel that stretching somewhere through your low part of your back potentially your SI joint your pelvis you can feel that stretch in there also, but it should be low part of the back. Did you feel that stretch in the low part of your back? I did. Cool. So there's one of the ways that you can do this. Um, okay, let's say that you've, you've done that. And, you know what, let's just do it with one leg. Let's do the left leg again. And let's say like she's done that, she's warmed up. Now just can, after you've warmed up, you could probably go a little bit faster. And maybe even a little bit further. And sometimes you can hear a pop crack click with this, and that's totally fine. Okay, so now we're gonna switch where she does left leg and then right leg, and then left leg and then right leg. And all the way over. Good. And all the way over. Yeah, and so with all these, just start really slow. And then just work your, work your way up. Uh, there's another way that you can do this that I'll demonstrate. But this is, my, this is my favorite way just to get the multifidus, the low back muscles to relax. Again, if you hear a pop, crack, click, like an adjustment, that's probably an okay thing. Here's the other way that you can do this. I, I like doing that one first because what it'll do is it'll, it'll warm up your body. And you never want to do things static unless you warmed up. So that's a dynamic stretch. Uh, this would be a more static stretch. And it's just this one, we all know this from back in, in gym class, and you're just gonna kind of hold that. And you can also make that a little bit more dynamic, where you just kind of come in like this. But this is definitely a little bit more advanced than the one that Larissa was, that Larissa was doing. So thanks for, uh, thanks for joining us out, of, uh, out, in the, out in the spheres of the Google and Facebook universe. And uh, if you have any specific questions, Please don't hesitate to call me, uh, message us directly. We're here to help.